Hello everybody, this is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it is early January and I am working on the next My Creative Time release. Um, you can find all the information about this particular release, um, which goes live on January 13th, which is a Friday, over on Emma's channel, which is My Creative Time or Aguilar Place. Um, on here on YouTube and uh, she will have all the information about the release and uh, she shows everything beautifully always and she always provides um, information in her drop down menu about any discounts or giveaways things like that that she's doing so again this relief goes this release is live on Friday the 13th I'm not sure when you'll be seeing this particular video what I am doing is I am going to do a release video hopefully on Friday if I can make it otherwise it'll be part of Saturday morning makes. But I'm also filming some individual videos just showing um, each card as I make it. Um, I get a lot of questions about products that I've used and what I'm doing. And sometimes when I'm doing a release video, it's hard to go into the amount of detail that everybody wants. So I'm trying this this month where I'm filming each card as I make it, and then I'll do a big release video on the day of the release or on Saturday for Saturday Morning Makes, depending on what I can squeeze in, okay? So I'm just letting you know that that's what I'm doing. Um, really quickly, here are the products that I use to create what I'm going to show you, okay? This is the My Creative Time Script Hearts and Solids uh, paper pad. It's a beautiful paper pad with hearts um, and script in it, as well as all the solid colors that coordinate... <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, you guys, that coordinate with the uh, the Fun Valentine's paper pad. And this Fun Valentine's paper pad has so many neat things in it, including um, some dies that coordinate with it to cut out these cute little gingers and the tags and sentiments. Um, it's got cookie sheet um, gingers with little I love yous that go with a cookie sheet die. Um, it has these little... Uh, Valentines that can be used for like kids school valentines or so many other things anybody um, And it's just a really fun paper pad and I love that it has uh, the backs of the papers are these beautiful hearts So I would love a whole paper pad in every color under the sun of just this heart paper. I love it so much um, And both of these paper pads are wonderful. I love um, this paper that has the um, the little hearts uh, squiggly lines. I just think that is adorable. And then of course you've got the script, which is one of my favorite things. So just a beautiful, beautiful paper pad. And I love the color palette that Emma chose um, with the, the red, brown, light gray, and the two pinks, and then this pretty cream color too. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous palette, okay, for Valentine's Day. So I use the papers. Um, this is actually a stencil from Echo Park, and I've shown this once before. Okay, um, so it's a six by six designer stencil from Echo Park, and I think it is called Tiny Hearts Stencil. So there's the purchasing information. I believe I got mine either from scrapbook.com or Simon Says Stamp. But I love tiny things, and it's very hard to find stencils that have just really tiny openings, which is my preference as a card maker. Um, I use this stamp set. This is not from the current release. Uh, it is called Sending Love, and this is from last Valentine's Day, I believe. Sending Love MCT 375. I love, this is my very favorite Valentine's set. I just love it. It has tiny sentiments. It has just a bunch of different things you can use for the inside of your card, for the front of your card, for the back of your card, um, just little icons and different things, um, post scripts and stuff like that so it's a great set um, and I use that part of the new release is this cookie sheet tag dies um, so this is part of the January release and there's three sizes of cookie sheets in this and I'm so excited to have that finally um, and then the cookie cutter dies okay these coordinate with the paper pad so the sheet that's in the paper pad you can use to cut out um, these dies to cut out what's in the paper pad and uh, Emma, again, goes into great detail on her channel, and uh, you'll learn more about this from her. Um, but I did use that uh, along with the cookie sheets. And then this is the bowl die. This is called the um, Bowl Dies January 2023 release. These are, um, this is a little spatula that I use, but there's three bowls in this set, and each one has a little heart on it. And these are absolutely adorable. I love the scallops. You can either do hearts or a solid scallop and I layered them when I did my bowl card if you saw that card too. 
Um, I use this die here. This is not part of the current release. This is the Heart to Heart Love Frame dies. And I use this little die on the back of my card. And uh, this is what the die set looks like, just in case you haven't seen it before. And then uh, this is the uh, Pretty Scallop Rectangle Frame dies. I use the largest one on my card. I use the uh, XOXO Border Frame dies. And again, I use the largest one. Yeah, the largest one. I use this die to put on the back of my card to decorate the back of my card. And this is the Scallop Heart Tag Dies, MCT D259. I love this tag set because these little hearts, you can layer up onto the actual tag and these are just adorable for Valentine's Day. I made bookmarks with them last year and sent them out to people and it was a lot of fun. So I love this die set. And then this one here is the Rectangle Frame Die Layers. Okay, there's the number, D274, and I use the largest one of um, those also. So let me get into the card, and again, I, I haven't put the card completely together. Um, I'm leaving it apart just so you can understand kind of how I, I pull a card together. So this is a gray cardstock from Paper Tray Ink, um, and it's, it's a darker gray color. And then uh, this is what the inside looks like. I have that XOXO border die. Um, as my rectangle frame layer on the inside. Here's that adorable little love die. And then I added a piece of the pink heart paper just down the side, okay? So that's what the inside of the card looks like. And then on the back, I used the adorable pattern paper with the little heart scroll. And uh, I added this beautiful heart die from the book, uh, from that little heart tag set that I showed you. Um, I used it to make bookmarks last year. And then I stamped Sending Love and an X and an O from that Valentine stamp set. Um, so that's the inside and the back of my card. And you know I like to do all three sides. And then I thought I would show you on camera how I'm going to do the front of the card. So the front of the card uses that rectangle frame layer cut from some white 65 pound cardstock because this is 100 pounds, so I don't need another piece of 100 pound. So I use a less expensive paper to make my layer here. And this is a 65 pound piece of white cardstock that I've cut with that beautiful scallop layer die. I love this die set. And it just creates a wonderful frame for the largest size of the XOXO border die. And so that's what I'm putting next is this piece of XOXO border die in the largest size, and I'm going to center it up perfectly over the scallops onto the card frame, okay? Uh, onto the card base, rather. And then um, you can see that I uh, stenciled some hearts in both white and black ink, and that was because I wanted there to be some background um, around the focal point that I'm gonna put on. And the focal point is the largest cookie um, sheet that I've done again in the gray cardstock. And then I took a piece of vellum for the liner on the cookie sheet and I embossed it with a heart embossing folder, which I do not have to show you. It's downstairs, but it's a very old Sizzix embossing folder. I don't know that it's available anymore, but just go to any website or store and just look to see what they have for Valentine's Day and embossing folders. And you can usually find something to be able to use. Um, but the reason why I like to do embossing is it adds texture and dimension to your card and it really draws the eye in to what you're looking at, okay? So you've got the stamping around the outside and then you have this beautiful texture from the vellum and the embossing, okay? And the vellum is slightly see-through to the back and I love how that um, just sets everything off. And then this these sweet um, gingers that say, I love you, that is directly from the paper pad. And let me see if I can pull the page out really quick. So this is what the page looks like. And you just center the die over the page and you cut them out. Or if you want to, uh, you can cut them out with a die. And then if you don't want, an, uh, want a white edge, you could always cut around them. But I actually like the way the white edge frames these particular ones. So I did not cut around them. I just left them the way they die cut. And so I did uh, pop those up on pop dots so that they're standing a little bit away from the vellum. And then I took that same Valentine stamp set that I showed you and I stamped Be Mine 
and XOXO or Hugs and Kisses down here. I colored the little gingers with some markers. I colored in their cheeks and the buttons, and I didn't do a very good job. It looks like it kind of dried bad here, so I'm gonna kind of go over that one more time when I get off camera. I oftentimes will see things when I video that I don't see while I'm creating because I'm busy just conceptualizing what I want to do for the card. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but a lot of times after I get off the video, I when you actually see the photo of the card, the card will often look different than it does on camera in the video because a lot of times I will fix little details that I didn't notice. Um, and then I wanted to mention one other thing. When you're gluing something and you don't want a shiny residue to show if you have to move anything, this is a really good glue to use because it dries matte. Okay, so I do use this a lot when I'm gluing things to the front of my card where I, if there's any glue residue, I'd rather it be matte glue residue versus uh, Tombow Mono, which when it dries, it does leave it more of a shine. So I do keep both of these glues on my desk. That's just a little tip. Um, and uh, that is kind of what I did here. Now, one of the ideas that I do have for the front of this card after I get off camera, I'm probably gonna take a little bit of this Craftsmart glitter glue from Michaels, and I will probably just highlight a few of the hearts in the background here just to add a little bit of sparkle. But you can see I also added this little spatula from the bowl set onto the edge of the cookie sheet down at the bottom, and I did ink the handle of it to make it look like it's wood. So that is my card. I'm gonna be gluing all this together. I might add a few more finishing touches, I'm not sure. I did use some jute twine to tie a little bow, bow onto the thing. I was looking for jute twine everywhere that is thin as this one that is from um, Fun Stamper's Journey. And uh, I wish I had bought like 10 rolls of this because I can't find it anywhere. And Michaels used to carry something similar, but they don't have the same size anymore. So I'm looking around um, for something that is like this, that doesn't have frayed edges. It's just a very solid, thin jute twine. So if anybody knows of a resource, I would love to know. I, I just can't find it this week. So, <laughs> and I'm almost out. So I just thought I would mention that too. So um, anyway, that is going to be my card, and I will take photos when I'm all done putting it together and adding any finishing touches so you can see it. Um, and I will be doing additional videos of my various makes for the My Creative Time January release. Um, I'm not sure if it's the 128th release. I'm trying to remember. But um, I will put all the information down in the drop-down menu as, as I uh, upload this video, okay? All right, everybody, let me know what you think about this style of um, sharing. Uh, and if you like this better or if you prefer just one big video with everything all at once. <laughs> and uh, I'll probably still do that video anyway um, just to introduce the release uh, on my channel with all my projects. But this is an easier way to break down all the products for a particular card that I've made. So let me know what you think, and uh, I hope everybody's having a great week. All right, bye now.